Hello, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville Hockey Podcast by fans for fans. We cover everything Admirals and Predators related. Go check out our YouTube page and uh, hit subscribe, hit that bell to be notified every time we uh, upload a video. Uh, looks like Chris is falling asleep during our intro here. He almost dropped the hockey stick. Looks like he's nodding off, had to catch the hockey stick. But also don't forget to like and, and or follow our uh, Facebook page for all you people over there on YouTube. Preferably like both. Um, so, uh, this show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard, uh, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can give them a call at 414-800-7585. Or you can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You can get all of your hockey gear, you can get all your referee gear. Uh, for your figure skaters, you can get your, or your recreational skaters, you can get your skate sharpened. Uh, you can get NHL jerseys from all teams in the Midwest. You can get jersey customizations. You can get this season's uh, Milwaukee Admiral jersey with the current logo. Uh, he has it right there. And uh, yep, and you can buy them just like this, and then spend an extra seventy-five bucks right. and get jersey cust customization. Yep. Um, also, for all of you who may watch us, if you own your own business. Uh, send our page a message. Uh, we are always We're look looking for sponsors. We're always looking for sponsors, and we uh, have a full uh, full brochure and email list ready to go. Yep. So uh, yeah. So let's get into this game. What game? The Predators game. There was a game. Yeah, they actually won. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Predators played the Rangers tonight. They won uh, five to two. It was, it was one of them games where it was just kind of, meh. Nothing really stood out, in my opinion. But shots on goal were 41-24, uh, New York. Face-off percentage was 65% for uh, Predators, 35% for the Rangers. Both teams were 0 for on the power play. Uh, Nashville was 0 for 2, New York was 0 for 4. Uh, the Rangers had 16 penalty minutes, Nashville had 10. Uh, the Rangers out hit the Predators 29-16. Uh, the Predators had 18 block shots, and Nashville or the Rangers had 11. And then the Rangers had 21 giveaways, and the uh, uh, Predators had 10. Yeah. All right. So scoring in the first was Rocco Grimaldi, his fourth with an assist from Yossi, his 20th, and Ellis his 18th. Uh, then we had Chris Kreider scoring for the Rangers. His eighth was an assist from Zibanejad. Uh That was a two-on-O. The Preds defense really uh, let him down on that one. Ah, oh. what? Causing me a headache. I did to you what it always does to me. All right, scoring in the second was Roman Yossi with his eighth with an assist from Dan Hamhues, his fifth, and Kyle Turris, his eighth. Uh, then we have uh, Matias Ekholm with his fifth with uh, an assist from uh, Nick Benito, his uh, eighth. Then uh, our Timmy Panarin, the bread man, got his 20th with an assist from Mika Zibanejad, his 12th, and uh, Fox, his 12th. Then Roman Yossi scored an empty netter, his ninth, and then Ryan Ellis scored another empty netter, his fifth, with an assist from Austin Watson, his sixth. Uh, it that was a lot. Be a pain in the neck. UC Soros he stopped uh, thirty nine of forty one with a nine point a point nine one uh, point nine five one save percentage. I'm sorry guys, I have a really bad head cold. You're almost there. It just does not want to. You do see this, right? Hold on, I got you. Where do you leave off? Uh, New York's goalie. Oh, the goalie? Okay, hold on. Do -do. Uh, Rangers. Uh, uh, in that for the Rangers was, uh, was that Aaron Gugiv? Gavori. G E O G I E V. Gavori. Yeah, uh, he. He uh, saved 19 saves. He faced 22 shots. 
He had a, a .864 save percentage. All right. Referees were uh, Kelly Sutherland and Gene Hebert. Uh, linesmen were Kyle Flemington and Tony Cercolo. Cercolo. Uh, head coach for the Rangers is David Quinn. He is the former coach, coach for Boston University. Boston U, which is where Favreau played. Um, Boston U, it's Boston University, you're right. Um, and uh, head coach for Nashville is Peter Laviolette. Uh, Not for long. Scratches were Matt Irwin and Mikhail Grandlin for Nashville, and Lou, Lubomir Hel Helgic, uh, his he was a scratch, and Michael Haley. <sighs> Up next for the Predators is the the uh, they New York go, Islanders. Yep, they face their former coach uh, Barry Trump. All right, so the Islanders and the Predators play tomorrow night at six o'clock Central. In uh, Brooklyn, wherever the Islanders are currently playing, uh, either Brooklyn or um, what you call it, uh, what's that Long, Long Island? Island? Yeah, it depends on if they're at the Coliseum or if they're actually in Brooklyn. All right, water well, front line is uh, Ross Johnston with two goals, uh, Matthew Barzol thirteen goals, fourteen assists, and uh, Josh Bailey fourteen assists and eight eight goals. Uh, Anthony Bovuder. He has uh, 10 goals, 11 assists. Uh, Brock Nelson, 14 assists, 11 goals. And then Michael Del Cole. Yeah. Uh, he has 2 goals and 2 assists. Uh, yeah, I'd say out of the first two lines, you should probably keep an eye out for uh, Brock Nelson and uh, Barzel. Other uh, defensive pairings, uh, we have Adam Pelt, Pelic, P E L E C H. Pelic. Uh, one goal, six assists. Uh, Ryan Pollock, his partner on that line, four goals, 11 assists. Then their uh, second uh, line for defensive pairing would be uh, Devin Taves, uh, 10 assists, three goals. And then you got Scott Mayfield, he has four goals, five assists. All right, so... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, the Islanders look beatable. Uh, in their last five... Uh, let's see here. All right, I can go with the stats here. In their last ten games, they're six and four, and they're currently on a three-game winning streak. They have a record of 31 games played, 22 wins, 7 losses, and 2 overtime losses. Yeah, Brock Nelson seems to be having a hot hand. His last 5 games, he has 3 goals, 2 assists. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much my preview for the Islanders. They don't really scare me. I think the Predators could pull out a victory. If they play like they did tonight. Uh, what's their goalie looking like in New York? Or for the All right, Islanders? so their goalies are... Their starting goalie is Simeon Varlamov. We're no we're, he's no stranger to us. Uh, he was the goalie for Colorado for many years. Yeah. And then Washington before that. Um, he has played 18 games, uh, started 16. He has 11 wins, 3 losses, and 1 OT. Or 2 OT losses and 1 shutout. He has a .928 goals in, or nine, .928 save percentage. And a 2.24 goals against average. Uh, Thomas Grice, he has played in 16 games. He has 11 wins, 4 losses, no overtime losses. He has a .932 save percentage with a 2 goals, 2.16 goals against average, no shutouts. So what do you think? you think they could do a 2 for 2 in uh, New York? Or do you think they'll split this uh, little road series in the Big Apple? I think they have to win. They're in that. They got to get into that mindset of we have to win every game, otherwise we're gonna end up having to fight back like St. Louis did. Well, we're already damn near in the cellar as it is. That's gonna be a hell of a mountain to climb. We don't have as many games left as we think. Tonight was game 32. They play 82. We have 50 games left. Yes, yeah, so if uh, times that by two points, you should be able to catch up. Yeah, but we'd have to hit a hot streak, and I don't know. Do you think they have it in them? That's what we're waiting to see. Because they seem like they're playing sluggish hockey. You know this. 
Well, like I said, if they have to fire their coach, they fire their coach. They do what they got to do. That's on them. Astro and we, Easter, lob your net. We just speak what we see game by game. Like, so you want to do that stick cap during this show? Because there's really no point doing three separate shows now. Yes. Um, uh, so, oh, I did have one other thing. The Admirals are still in first place, everybody. Uh, currently, the Admirals have a three-point lead over the Tucson Roadrunners for first place in the league. However, because the Tucson Roadrunners play less games, they are in first place in the league because of percent win percentage. Oh, oh. Because the our it'll balance itself out. Yes. Either way, as long that as ain't what we wanted to do is stick to for. Nope. Um, just trying to give an update. There was no games in the AHL today. Um, in the Central, Dallas is currently losing to Edmonton two to nothing. Colorado lost to St. Louis five to two. Damn. Uh, which St. Louis losing doesn't help us. You or mean St. Louis, Louis winning. St. Louis winning does help us because they beat Colorado, who's in second place. Oh, okay. And anytime you can get a win. Over. Yeah, but do you really want St. Louis to be on top, though? I mean, no, but I Dallas losing does help. They are currently in the first wild card position. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to look at that already, which is kind of bad. Do you mean but, to tell me Minnesota's not that far out of wild card? Yeah, they're... So where are we? Ouch. Not that far. Yeah, but we're behind Vancouver. Yeah. You know Vancouver ain't that great. Yeah, but that's where I'm waiting for. They here's the thing. We have two games. So we could end up with thirty nine points and be here by the time we catch Minnesota at that point. And we pass Minnesota. Minnesota has two games over us. So that's the thing. So does Vancouver. Calgary has three. Dallas has two. So that's what I'm saying. If we can start beating the teams that are in front of us, we will actually catch up. All right. Well, we'll see how it plays. We have to stop beating teams in the East Coast. Well, we got to keep beating them, but you get what I mean. I'm saying. We can't just beat teams in the yeah, East Coast. Yeah, we have to get better against our division. Act or, more accurately, we have to play better within the division. But conference more in general, because if you are going to end up fighting for that wild card spot, you got to beat every team in your conference. All right, well, fine. Beat the West, then uh, play average against the East. All right, um, so our stick taps tonight are for... We had 700 likes. That's impressive. Uh, we thought this year our goal when we started, we were at 520. We wanted six by the All Star break. And now we got by, seven. By, and we said that when we did our final preview video for the season. By the beginning, from between that preview video and the beginning of the season, we had an influx of 100 people join us, and we had to jump to 700 for the All Star break. So you guys made it happen. So, yeah, let's go for 800 by the end of the year. No, 800 by the time the playoffs start. Basically, yeah. end of the year. Yeah. End of the regular season. I'm still going to have a little bit of faith in the program. I don't want to throw in the towel yet because, hey, what if, like I said, what if they're a slow starting team? And they like we were fire? last year. Yeah, and you guys were, and the Predators were a slow starting team the year they went to the Cup. All right, uh, beyond that, uh, that's our show. That's our show. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah, visit Hockey Locker, their website, HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, tell your friends. Try to spread the word. Oh, and share our videos. Yeah, we're trying to get as many people to like it as possible.